Hello, welcome to Friday, and uh, we'll be uh, talking a little bit more about um, uh, personality, and uh, this should be a pretty short video because we're just, uh, there's only like a few more pages here. Um, then we are going in to go, to go into um, the trade perspective, which is more or less kind of what personality uh, psychologists really believe, but the, 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 the history of this is kind of working itself out. So humanistic was pretty big in the uh, 60s and um, uh, kind of went with the times. Um, it's since kind of taken a downturn in terms of um, importance or relative importance and therapy and stuff, but, and most, most people have kind of moved on from it. Um, but uh, it is still a good historical reference to, to you know, where psychology has been. And um, actually, if you read Roger's stuff or uh, Maslow's stuff, you, it's pretty impressive. Um, it's just kind of taken a negative turn. Um, uh, but uh, regardless, um, we're going to just kind of mention the last few things about this. And um, it's something, you know, I, I think the last thing we had talked about was... Uh, the uh, Carl Rogers person-centered perspective. And um, he mentioned genuineness, uh, uh, empathy, and, um, and uh, acceptance. And in particular, the um, unconditional positive regard uh, seemingly was like the most important thing. And I think it bears saying that it's something that um, many of us should probably try to do more of is giving people a little leeway to be themselves. Um, so, uh, you know, just kind of accepting people for all their flaws. It's, it's like a really great thing to, you know, do when you're interacting with other people. Um, cause you know, we're not all of us are bad. We're pretty, pretty good people. And, uh, you know, we have, we all have flaws. I have flaws. You guys have flaws, but you know, we kind of have to, um, understand that, uh, you, you want to have this unconditional positive regard towards people so that they can kind of open up to you and, uh, talk to you. So, um, if they do that, and this is, this is, was the, the, um, the big, the big idea is, uh, if you, if you follow the person centered perspective, um, with genuineness, acceptance, and empathy, um, uh, people are accepted and prized. They tend to develop a more caring attitude towards themselves. And so the idea of how that relates to your personality is, you know, you, you kind of grow into yourself. Um, if you're allowed to, uh, feel like people have your back. So, um, and, and not being as judgmental as, as, you know, people are. So, um, the, the other thing I, w I was just going to say about this is um, this idea of self-concept, which I've mentioned a number of times. So self-concept is kind of like the way, the way that you feel about yourself, um, all, all the thoughts and questions that answer who am I. And um, there's this thing called a positive uh, self-concept uh, means that so you have this actual self and your ideal self. So your actual self is kind of like whoever you are, like your answer to the question of who am I? And the um, ideal self is who you want to be. And like I said, we've done this in class and I've talked about this before, but if you have a positive self-concept, that means that these two things are very similar to each other. They're very close. There's very little space in between uh, the actual self and the ideal self. And that's how a, a humanistic psychologist would assess you to, if you were in therapy or um, wanted to see you know, how, how you felt about yourself. He'd, he'd look about, he'd give you a questionnaire or she would give you a questionnaire and then um, ask you to, uh, you know, it would basically be to find out about your actual self and your ideal self. And if they were very close, he would say, or she would say that that would be a positive con self-concept. And if, if they were really far apart, that would be a negative self-concept. And that would be something that a humanistic psychologist would work through with you by 
once again, genuineness, uh, genuineness, empathy, acceptance, like the unconditional positive regard, the person centered perspective. So that is, um, in a nutshell, what humanistic psychology is. The next, the next thing you guys are going to see is the trait perspective and the trait perspective is really cool actually, because it's, it's kind of, it's really like the, uh, the best that personality psychology has right now. And, um, so I'm going to send you a questionnaire to do, and it will give you a result for, um, uh, this. So I'll show you about the other, the other, uh, types of, um, uh, trait perspective stuff. This is the next module. The trade perspective is, is, um, there are a handful of other people that have kind of come through, but, um, they've sort of landed on what they call the big five. And I believe, I believe the person that came up with this was a person named McRae. Give me one second. Uh, McRae and Costa. So, um, but the big five, uh, are sort of the end all be all in personality psychology. And this is all part of the next module in traits. And, uh, so next time we'll go through all these things. Um, uh, so, but the, uh, the acronym canoe, or you could rearrange it to be ocean, um, actually goes through uh, the different adjectives that would describe you. And that's basically what trade is. Trade is, um, here's adjectives that describe you most of the time. And this is how you're going to respond to things. So, um, we have conscientiousness, we have agreeableness, neuroticism, neuroticism, openness, the two ends. Two ends, openness and extraversion. Okay, so probably the two that I may need to explain the most are, or there's actually three, um, might be those three, but it'll be kind of cool. You'll you'll get in. A, it's sort of like a real life. Um, uh, um, uh, what are those things called? Um, horoscope. It's kind of like a real life horoscope with actual science behind it. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, we'll talk more about that, uh, on Monday. Um, don't forget to get your modules into me. I'm grading them as kind of in clumps and stuff. So please just get them to me. Every five is a test grade. So, um, this can really bring up your grade if you get all these in on time. So most people have done them, but, uh, please get them in if you haven't. Okay. See you later.